Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration recognizing that God dwells in the temples of our hearts. And so to prepare ourselves to receive Jesus into ourselves today, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Maccabees. 
Judas and his brothers said, Now that our enemies have been crossed, let us go up to purify the sanctuary and rededicate it. So the whole army assembled and went up to Mount Zion. Early in the morning, on the 25th day of the ninth month, that is, the month of Shislev, in the year 148, they arose and offered sacrifice according to the law on the new altar of burnt offerings that they had made. On the anniversary of the day on which the Gentiles had defiled it, on that very day it was reconsecrated with songs, harps, flutes, and symbols. All the people prostrated themselves and adored and praised heaven who had given them success. For eight days, they celebrated the dedication of the altar and joyfully offered burnt offerings and sacrifices of deliverance and praise. They ornamented the facade of the temple with gold crowns and shields. They repaired the gates and the priests' chambers and furnished them with doors. There was great joy among the people now that the disgrace of the Gentiles was removed. Then Judas and his brothers and the entire congregation of Israel decreed that the days of the dedication of the altar should be observed with joy and gladness. On the anniversary every year for eight days, from the 25th day of the month of Shislev. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory, for all in heaven and on earth is yours. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty you are exalted as head over all. Riches and honor are from you. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. You have dominion over all. In your hand are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. We praise your glorious name, Almighty God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death, but they could find no way to accomplish their purpose 
because all the people were hanging on his words. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been listening for the previous days in our first reading from the book of Maccabees. It is a story about the struggle of the Jewish people against their conquerors. They were invaded. But today, we see that they were victorious. And when they won the war, what was the first thing that they did in the country? What was the first thing that they repaired in their land? First, they rebuilt, reconsecrated the temple. Ang unang-unang inayos nila pagkatapos ng digmaan, walang iba kundi ang templo kung saan kinakatagpo nila ang Panginoon sa pagdarasal. My dear brothers and sisters, what does this teach us? This teaches us, my dear brothers and sisters, to also prioritize strengthening our inner temples. Kung paanong inuna nila ayusin ang templo ng Diyos, ngayong araw, mga kapatid, ay pinapaalalahanan din tayo ng salita ng Diyos. Sana unahin din natin ang mga templo ng Diyos sa ating kalooban kung saan naninirahan ang Panginoon. And we are sure that when we prioritize the temple, just like the people in the first reading, they prioritize the temple because they were sure that when they repaired the temple where they meet God, then it will give them the strength that they need. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, the question is, how are your inner temples? Are we taking care of the temple of God in our hearts? Do we take care of it? Do we strengthen it by prayer, by reading the Word of God? When we make the inner temples of God in our hearts strong, then we are able to face any circumstance, any challenge in life. Kapag matibay ang templo ng Diyos sa ating mga kalooban, ay sinisigurado sa atin, magiging matibay ang ating pagkatao at kaya nating harapin anuman ang pagsubok sa buhay. Jesus, in our Gospel reading today, also did this when He went to the temple and He cleansed the temple area. He removed all things that are not of God, the thieves, the money changers, the sellers, Jesus removed all these because He wanted to strengthen the temple of God. And when God's temple is strong, then it will bring blessings and strength to God's people. Nilinis ni Jesus ang templo sapagkat alam niya na kapag ang templo ay malinis, ang templo ay ginagamit bilang pagdarasal 
at pagpaparangal sa Diyos, ito ay magbibigay ng tibay at lakas sa mga tao. My dear brothers and sisters, this morning, you have celebrated Mass here with us in the cathedral. And I know that many of you who are watching this online uh, broadcast of the Mass, I am sure you start your day always in the morning listening to God's Word in the Mass and being in communion with us even spiritually in this Mass. This is a good practice to start our day, to begin our day with prayer, with listening to God's Word, and being in communion with our Lord. Because when we begin our day with prayer, then we make the temples of God in our hearts strong. And when the temple is strong, then you can face your day with strength coming from God. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us ask ourselves, how is the temple of God in my heart? Do I strengthen it? Do I take care of it? Do I cleanse it from anything that is not from God? My dear brothers and sisters, make your inner temple strong and you can face any challenge in your life. We ask the Lord Jesus today to cleanse the temples of our hearts so that he could strengthen us always. Amen. Please stand. The commands of the Lord are clear, but His mercy is great. Let us pray to our Father with trust in His wisdom. For every petition, let us say, Father, keep us in Your ways. Father, keep us in Your ways. That the Catholic Church may guide her members in the path of righteousness and bring them closer to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us, us in Your, your ways. ways that we may learn to turn away from sin with all our hearts, remaining obedient to God's law. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep, keep us in your ways, that those who do not believe may yet hear the word of God and be brought to eternal salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, keep, keep us in, in your ways. ways that we may never neglect the sick, the old, the lonely, and all who suffer in our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us in your, your ways, ways, that the faithful departed may enjoy eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father keep, keep us in your, your ways. ways. Heavenly Father, you search the heart of every man, and you know our innermost thoughts. Strengthen our hearts for true worship and our hands for more willing service to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
نیستند. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.